My name is Ferley Rincón. I'm happy to be here to, and to present this joint project with Cesar Mantilla. In this, pro, this project is about the relationship between labor mobility rules and productivity in a control setting. Uh, we define labor mobility as the possibility of changing contracts. Uh, uh, in other words, the possibility that workers could pass from one low wage sector to one to other high wage sector. In dual labor markets, the probability of transition between low and high wage uh, sectors uh, sometimes is different between workers with the same productivity. do not depend on worker, but it, it is due external constraints. We designed this online experiment to measure difference in productivity, resulting from perceptions of labor market in a control settings. Let's imagine a, let's imagine a dual labor market where the only works is the same between sectors, and the unique difference is the piece rate uh, in, in, in both sectors. In the se we call these sectors contract A and contract A and contract B, and the difference is that the piece rate in contract A is twice contract B piece rate. Uh, we found that uh, workers could be low productive because their effort does not improve their chances of getting, of getting good jobs. Although the peace rate uh, uh, implies that more effort increases the worker payoff. Uh, we contribute to literature about relative payment and relative payment and sorting in competitive environments. The main find, finding here in this literature is that workers' effort provision depends on wages, but also in the information that workers have about their co-workers' wages. And we explore the effort provision in a control environment where contract reallocation depends on this provision. So, in other words, we are, we, in this work, we try to understand how the rule for weight changing is affecting productivity. Natural and field experiment have provided evidence that performance based payment affects, affects effort provision. And in this project, we show that labor mobility leads to productivity based sorting when rules involve effort provision. To understand what is the effect of mobility rules between two sectors of a dual labor market on participant supply of effort, participants were randomly allocated to tournament whose mobility rules define the contract allocation for five rounds. We are, in this experiment, we vary two types of mobility rules. The first one is the initial allocation rule. A, is how the first contract is allocated. And we also added the reallocation rules for contract from round two to round five. And this captured labor mobility. A contract for round one are allocated randomly or based on participant productivity during the practice round. We have two conditions. In the first condition is the lack treatment Contract A and B are assigned randomly to the participants. And in the merit condition, participants in the after the practice round are so sort by, by their productivity. And participants with the best productivity receive the contract A, that is the contract with high payment. And participants uh, with lowest productivity receive contract B. Then, 
we organize a participant if group of four parties of four players, two of them with contract A and two of them with contract B. This we use a stratified group rematching to ensure that the group is always composed in this way, two contract A and two contract B. At the end of each round, participants within a group were lexicographically ranked using two arguments. The first argument is the contract type. It means that part, part workers with contract A will be ranked first and second, and workers with contract B will be ranked second, uh, ter third and fourth. We also use the number of tasks, of tasks to uh, rank in the contract subgroups and workers uh, from rounds two to five can be promoted or demoted according to these three conditions. In the first conditions, all contracts are ra reallocated randomly. It doesn't depend it doesn't depend on the co initial contract or on the number of complete tasks. And in the other two, participants in the second and third position in the ranking of the group compete for contract A. And this competition uh, depends on productivity in two different ways. In the perfect condition, uh, the contract A, the best contract, is allocated to part the participant who do more, more tasks in the round. But in the noisy condition, more tasks implies a higher productivity, a higher likelihood of receive contract A. In each round, participants have 120 seconds to complete as many tasks as possible. We use a double randomization mechanism to minimize learning between rounds. Uh, <clears throat> in this table, the we randomize the correspondence between uh, the numbers, the numbers and the letters, and we also randomize the order in the numbers of this code. People have to see this key table to uh, complete the encoding of the numbers to two letters. This, in this slide, I present some details of the experiment. We use an online protocol experiment with two populations, students and non-students. We separate this in workers, paid and unpaid, and students who's, who only study or are employed people who are studying. If the age between the groups are similar, and the, in this, this experiment was conducted with 207 participants in 18 sessions. Okay. In this table, I, I, I'm going to present the main results of this experiment. We found that an increase of, of 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3, complete task when the reallocation rules depends on the worker's productivity. This increase in productivity is driven by workers when the reallocation rule is perfect and by students when the reallocation uh, rule is noisy. When we do this OLS analysis for the pool sample, we don't find any effect of the initial allocation rule, but when we do this analysis for workers, we found that when a worker is, when the first contract of a worker is allocated by merit and in the other rounds, the reallocation rules, it's random, these workers reduce his productivity. But when we combined a merit initial allocation with a 
reallocation rule with perfect or noisy, the workers' productivity increase. We also uh, analyze the transition probabilities by treatment conditions, and we found no difference between the, the transition of perfect and noisy treatments. So these results are dri driven by the perception of mobility that uh, makes salience each of the treatment. The conclusions is uh, this experiment tried to contribute to the discussion about labor, mobility, and productivity. We find that both treatments with playoff encourage participants to provide more effort. However, the effects of, uh, are driven by perfect treatment for the workers and noisy treatment for the students. And we also find difference between the interaction of initial allocation and reallocation rules for workers, but not for students. Maybe students are more, uh, the competitive environment is more natural for students, but for workers, we could uh, think that they, the initial allocation is really important, I, and it is affecting all the rounds. And Finally, I would like to say that if exclusion party explain the existence of dual labor market, signals that this exclusion can be overcome are fundamental to encourage efforts. Thank you.